Well, thank you very much, Brian. And I, I also want to thank Council President and uh, Representative Thomas and Senator Farnese, who is here. I also need to acknowledge the great people from Project Home, including Sister Mary, for their leadership on this project and many other projects. Thrilled to be here today as we get one step closer to ending homelessness for good. Just two weeks ago, we received the results of the National Voices of Youth Count, and it confirmed that a third of the youth who are experiencing homelessness identify as LGBTQ. It's also confirmed that these LGBTQ homeless youth are extremely vulnerable to trafficking, especially being victimized by adults in order to have a place to live. The needs of the LGBTQ homeless youth are unique, and that's why I'm so pleased about today's groundbreaking. Project Homes Gloria Cazares residence is a four-story new construction. They'll provide 30 LGBTQ friendly, affordable homes for young adults who are homeless, have experienced homelessness, or at risk of experiencing homelessness, including those aging out of foster care, and it's a very important cohort of people that are aging out of, that, of those, those protections. This is the first permanent supportive housing of this kind in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and among the first in the nation. I commend Project Home and all the funders who made this innovative project possible. The city's Division of Housing and Community Development provided $3.5 million, and the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority provided the financing. These kinds of developments depend on federal funding, which, as we've heard, is in jeopardy, being, dra to being drastically reduced, directly impacting projects like this. But I remain committed to fighting for the funding to help those in need. Tackling homelessness must be a group effort, and Project Home is an invaluable partner in that fight. Over the last year, our administration has added 100 permanent homes and 60 shelter beds for homeless individuals. We're also added, we're also added two more homeless outreach teams and triple funding for homelessness prevention. There's still a lot of work to do, and the opioid crisis will make that fight even more difficult. But today is an important step in making homelessness rare, brief, and non-recurring. And before I introduce Janet Stearns, I just want to say a few things personally. And I want to thank a, a, a number of people. I'm looking in the front row of these LGBT lions uh, who, and I see Heshi, Heshi Zimmon back there also, people who have lived through the bad days, lived through the, the, the terrorism that the police department and other folks put these individuals through, and still stand up strongly and stand out proudly and continue to help people. That's really the most important thing is it's not just being angry and doing things because of what you've experienced. It's, it's, raise, it's reaching down and raising people up. These young folks need that experience. They need to understand the history of where they've come from or where they're going. And I just want to, I'm a little emotional, but I just want to thank you for maintaining your, your dignity and your, and your strength for what you've done and what you've been through and how you continue to help people. And, and this lady here, uh, I, and I always brag that I was educated by Sisters of Mercy and educated by Jesuits. And when I first came to council, I was um, a little stupid. Um, I did a good job in running for election, but my attitudes about things were a little stupid. Um, and I thought that we could hide homeless people and that we could get them off the streets and that we didn't need to experience them. And Mary, <laughs> when Mary does this, <laughs> and I want to thank her for educating me and, mat and maturing me into the person that I am today, because without her holding me to the fire, I probably would have stayed where I was in my idiocy of thinking that somehow we could just ignore homeless people and move them away and take them somewhere else. And I want to thank you for continuing that education that I experienced as a kid. And finally, Gloria. Um, fearless, relentless, courageous. When I first met her, I was scared to death of her. I was like, who is this woman? <laughs> like, what? what? I'm afraid to even say the wrong thing. <laughs> like, but the more I worked with her and the more that I understood where she was coming from, the more I appreciated her, the more I respected her, 
uh, and the more I appreciated the contributions that she made in the short period of time that she was in government. Um, and I wish she was here today because God knows what she would have done if she had lived longer than she did. She would have probably kicked my butt in the mayor's race. <laughs> um, so t with, her and, with her in mind and her memory, uh, this is a sacred, wonderful place that will be secure and safe for everyone, uh, regardless of who they are, who they choose to love, or, or, or what they want to do in their lives. And, and, the, and the thing that I will say in the end, I'm really concerned about our country. I'm really concerned about where we're going and what's going on. But I honestly believe that cities will save this nation for one reason. And the main reason that cities will save our nation is its diversity. I look out at this crowd and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, wonderful crowd. I can see diversity in ethnicity, in race, in gender, in religion, in, 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 in sexual identity and it's just, it's just a wonderful place. I couldn't live anywhere else. I, I couldn't live outside. Of, I said to my parents, who live, nothing wrong with New Jersey, but <laughs> they live in like an adult community in New Jersey. I say, how can you live here? <laughs> You're all talking about the same thing, your medication. Uh, that, uh, it's like, you need to go to Rittenhouse Square and just be with everybody, you know? Um, but, but, but I do want to thank every for, everyone for what they've done for our city. I am so proud to be mayor at this particular time in our, in, our city, in our city and country's history, and we need to stick together. We need to lock arms and move forward and roll them over because they'll roll over us if we don't. God bless you all.